I wanted to tell you something that I've never told on stage at this show before. I know, it's dangerous. I'd say I was about 32 years old when I saw a porn video on the internet. That's not unusual, we've all seen it. I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, did you know that the internet had porn on it? Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> I know, upon my word. Um, but this was unlike any porn video I'd ever seen before. This was, what, what was happening in this one was a, a, a woman was lying on the ground, naked, by, her, by herself, and over the course of a couple of minutes, she had an orgasm. But she, she wasn't touching herself. She just sort of thought herself into orgasm. And I was intrigued. <laughs> How is such a thing even possible? Is such a thing even possible? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm fully aware that, you know, that any, any you, can, you can fake a video. It's possible, that, but it's also possible. The mind is a powerful thing, and, 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 and it led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole until I, I discovered uh, some sort of forum online that, discu that discussed what they referred to as hands-free orgasm, HFO. <laughs> it had an abbreviation and everything. Um, and, and, and this would be achieved through hypnosis. And I had never, I'd never really heard of, I, of course I've heard of hypnosis, I've seen enough sitcoms to know that, you know, that <laughs> people who think they can't be hypnotized and they end up act, act like a bunny rabbit or whatever. Um, but I, I, I didn't know how this, this hypnosis thing worked, but I, I thought like it would be so awesome if I could give myself a hands-free orgasm and th the internet seemed to promise that I could. <laughs> And so the, the, the way this was supposed to work was that, uh, that I would download like an audio file, uh, put, it in, put it into some device that could play through headphones because it's important to get like the stereo effect. Um, and that the voice on the other end of the audio file would, would, over the course of 20 to 30 minutes, talk me into orgasm. And I thought, I'll, I'll give it a shot, why not? Um, here's, here's, here's something about hypnosis, because I, I, I did a little research, not enough to know anything, but I, <laughs> I, 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 I do know this. I, I know that there's a lot of misconceptions about hypnosis. Um, and a lot of hypnosis, uh, you, you, you know, the, the classic cartoon version is that somebody swings a watch and your eyes go all spirally and then, I don't know, you're under their control, you're the Manchurian candidate or whatever. Um, I don't think it actually works like that. Um, you can't be hypnotized into doing anything you wouldn't morally do otherwise. Also, I was surprised to learn that hypnosis, how do I want to say this? It's not that it doesn't work, but it doesn't matter if it's actually working because just your mind pretending that the hypnosis is working will make the hypnosis work. <laughs> the brain is amazing. Um, so I, uh, I, I, I got this audio file, I loaded it up on my, uh, on my iPod, and I sat down with some headphones. Uh, I, I, it took me a while to configure myself. I knew I wanted to be relaxed and naked. Um, <laughs> And also, and also not, uh, not distracted by anything. I'm, I'm not only easily distracted by noise, but also like my skin itches from time to time, or you know, like if a, like, like, like if a soft breeze blows by, I'm like, oh, this is a soft breeze. And I know I wanted to be, I wanted to be focused, but have like a, a blank mind. Um, <laughs> So I, so I got my headphones and I had to like configure them in a way that the, that the wires of my headphones weren't like draped across my body at all because that would be distracting to me and I knew it would like pull me right out of the hypnosis even if I was just pretending to be hypnotized, I'd also be actually distracted. Um, but eventually I, I, I got myself sat in a very comfortable chair with my headphones not touching my body except my ears. Um, and I started to listen. I, I pressed play and I, I put my, uh, my iPod aside. And I started to listen. And I'm, I'm not going to uh, try to recreate what, what was happening. But it, was, it, was a, it was a soothing voice. I, don't, I, I think what I was expecting was like a lot of sex noise that would like turn you on enough to eventually have an orgasm. That wasn't what this was. This was just a person, first of all, explaining that hypnosis works whether you are actually hypnotized or just pretending, and it doesn't matter. Um, and then basically 
lulling you into a sense of calm that, uh, lulling me into a sense of calm. And I, and I found myself really falling deeper and deeper into this trance. And the first 10 minutes of this thing, first of all, for me to sit still for 10 minutes is just like a feat on its own. Um, but I was surprised that I was able to do it. And I was, and, and I wanted to, like I, it was, it was, I, I was, I had intent. Um, so I, I was falling deeper and deeper into this trance. And, and that was the first 10 minutes was just saying like false, you know, your eyes are heavy, your, your, your limbs, don't worry about them. And then the sex talk started. Uh, and it was just, you know, saying like, like, imagine you're turned on more than you ever have been before. Think about a time when you're turned on, like it's 10 times more than that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I found myself being turned on in a way that I, that I had never felt before. Um, it, it was really kind of amazing to not, not be doing anything and feel these responses in my body. And I got hard. And, and I noticed that more and more my breathing got deeper. And, and I'm 20 minutes into this thing now. And, and I'm, I'm feeling those stirrings that, uh, that, that feel like they're going to lead to orgasm. And the more I listened, there was like 10 more minutes on the audio thing. Um, I am going to have to tell you, unfortunately, I'm going to spoil the end of the story. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. <laughs> but I was amazed that I, that I got that far with this audio, just, just listening to this thing. And, and like, I, like, I felt like I almost came. It was so close that like once the audio was done, I was like, you know, just like a couple of strokes and then bam. And it was amazing. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I couldn't wait to try again. Um, <laughs> It's honestly taken me a long time. It, 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 it took years before I tried again. I, the ability to find like 40 minutes when you can just be alone and undistracted, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more difficult than I would have thought. Um, I do try from time to time now and then uh, to varying results, never to full completion, but it still, it still feels very nice. And this is, this is me being very vulnerable because I, like I said, I've never, I've never told anybody really this before except like one of my most intimate partners uh, and and hello all of you strangers <laughs> and friends friends many people i know here um but you might be asking yourself eric at this point i mean you could have gone this 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 whole time not telling this this is the last show like why would you get this out now well it's because we're about to go into intermission and intermission is the time when we want to learn a little bit of something about you. During intermission, we're going to be handing out what we call these confession cards. And on these confession cards, basically, we, we've had different themes throughout the years. Tell us about a time that was, I don't know, like sexually adventurous this way for you, or tell us about um, like, like, like a time that was like a sexual mishap that was hilarious or something. But this is, this is, this is our last show. And we know that there's plenty of people out there who feel like, oh, if the show weren't ending, I was going to try to get to tell my story on that stage. And now, like, this is it. And this is it. This is your last chance. <laughs> this card says, my gotta tell everyone sex experience. <laughs> so you're going to be able to get cards on, uh, from, from, from our volunteers at the Red Dress Party who will be roaming the aisles. Uh, there's, there's Lulu out there, Rochelle and Dax. You can recognize the red tutus that they're wearing. And also from Reba here on stage. Reba's going to have these confession cards for you. So, uh, and, and intermission's going to be about 20 minutes. I'm also going to, I also want to give you a pro tip about these. Um, we we want to read as many as possible to you because we're going to read them out loud during the second half of the show. Um, we're we're going to go in between the storytellers and, and, and read them. We want to get to as many as possible. Here's what will give you the best chance of, of getting your stories read. Keep it short. Like seriously, one or two sentences, three if you have to stretch it. The back of the card is not for you. <laughs> we want to read your card, so make it short, make it snappy, get the cards, write a confession, get a drink. We'll see you back here in 20 minutes. Thanks so much. Yay!